Hello, all of you wonderful young people. We are going to be learning some good stuff today. We have this super fun word that we're going to talk about. Inverse. Stop and pause. Thinking, thinking. What does inverse mean? Mm-hmm. That's right. It means the opposite of something. The opposite. So we can use our lovely opposites, our inverse operations. We know operations. Mrs. Bryant talks about operations all the time. Add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So we can use inverse operations to solve equations. Now equations already have an equal sign. Obviously they're already equal to something. So when I'm talking about solving an equation, I mean an algebraic ex equation. Something with a letter that we haven't figured out yet. Now some of you guys have already been doing this and it's awesome and it makes my heart happy. Um, but we're just going to talk about why it works so that you can continue to use it and use it correctly. So inverse operations basically undo each other. Like addition undoes subtraction. Subtraction will undo addition. They're opposites of each other. So if I add 4 and take away 4, I still have 0, right? All right, so let's talk about these key properties here. These are called properties of equality, ways that we can balance something. All right, so I'm trying to keep 8 balanced with 8. I'm trying to keep this side of the equal sign balanced with this side of the equal sign. So in addition, if I add the same thing to both sides, it's still balanced. I still have the same weight, the same amount, the same quantity on either side of my equal sign. So I'm golden. I've kept things equal. This still rings true. When we do that in algebra, right now I have x minus 4 equals 5. So I know that these are equal, and I want to get x by itself. So what I got to do to get rid of, or to make x by itself, is to get rid of this 4. And right now it's subtracting. Well, I don't, I, okay. So I got to do the opposite, right? I have to do the opposite. I have to add 4. Well, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. All right, Bicycle Batman tells you. So if I add 4 to this side, I have to add 4 to this side. When I do that, these cancel out. This becomes 9. And I have x equals 9. Same thing with subtraction. Subtraction has the same equality property. If I subtract 5 from one side, I have to subtract 5 from the other side. This still balances. 3 equals 3. We're good. So same thing over here. Right now I have x plus 4. I want x by itself. I want it to say x equals something. So I have to get rid of all this nonsense next to it. Right here I have addition. The opposite of addition is everybody. Okay, I'm going to assume you said subtraction. You would be correct. Good job way to be. Pat yourself on the back. So I'm going to subtract 4. But to balance, I have to do the same thing to the other side. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So if I'm going to subtract 4 here, I have to subtract 4 here. All right? So if I subtract 4, I get x all by itself. These two cancel out. 5 minus 4 is 1. And I can find out x equals 1. Now I want to make sure that works, right? So I have x plus 4 equals 5. All right, let's plug in our 1. 1 plus 4 equals 5. Well, wouldn't you know it, 5 equals 5. Ding, ding. Hooray, we're amazing. Same up here. X minus 4 equals 5. All right, let's plug in our 9 we found earlier. 9 minus 4 equals 5. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Woohoo! It works. Always good to check. Once you solve for a variable, please check that it works. Do the check. Take the time to do the check. That took me, what, 15 seconds? You can do 15 seconds. All right, so these 
are your reminders here. Lovely side note about some other things if you need to read it. So let's put it in action. I want to solve x minus 2 equals 6. Now we get to solve. We're not just writing equations. We're not turning it into words. Solving. I have minus. I want to undo that subtraction. So I have to use the inverse. 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 I know. It's like there's an echo here. Well, the inverse of subtraction is addition. And I want to get rid of 2. So I'm going to add 2. And because of my laws of equality, what I do to one side, I must do to the other. So I'm going to add 2. Everybody, what's 6 plus 2? I'm going to really hope you said this. Because it's 8. It's totally 8. If you said 8, you were amazing. If you did not say 8, you probably weren't paying attention. Let's try it again. Here, let's keep going. Let's keep going this way. Because I still have some subtraction. And I want to undo that subtraction. I want to get that x all by itself. It wants to live on one side of the equal sign all by its lonesome. It's waiting. It's waiting right here. It wants everybody to know who it is and what it's about. So we have to get it alone first. Well, the opposite of subtraction is addition. I've got a 7 here. That 7 is going to come right down. Batman knows what I do to one side, I've got to do to the other. Okay, 18 plus 7 is, good job, probably all said, 25, hooray! Okay, so let's go over here and use a different operation. Now I am starting with addition, so I have to undo that addition. And only because I'm trying to get x all by its lonesome. So x plus 2 equals 9. Okay, well, let's get rid of this plus 2 by minusing 2. Making sure we're following all the rules or else Batman on a bicycle is going to go after us. All right? So these cancel out. I have x by itself. 9 minus 2 is 7. See if we can remember what to do without Batman reminding us. Oh, it's going to be tough. We got this. Okay. So 26 equals 11 plus x. Again, I got to get that x by itself. This 11 here, it's positive. So we're going to do the opposite of that. We're going to make a negative. Going to subtract 11. We're going to subtract 11 because what you do to one side, you do to the other. Did they say it? Did you guys say it? Did you say it out loud? Let's try it again. If you didn't, let's try it again. What you do to one side, you do to the other. Okay. So 26 minus 11 leaves us with 15. Bam. You guys are all amazing. You're experts. Life is a rainbow. I love this. Now, a lot of you guys were already doing this before. You kind of figured that out, that I need to do the opposite of something. Love it. We're going to focus on adding and subtracting right now. That's just going to be uh, what we're going to focus on. So let's flip it over and do some practice here. This is where I would like my wonderful substitute to pause and let all of you guys figure these out and then unpause it and be like, bam, magic. There's going to be, there's, there's going to be answers here. So I'm just going to let Batman Bicycle remind you as you solve these what to do because whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. Do we get it? Do we get it? Okay, let's plug them in and check. Let's see if it worked. Does k equal 4? Okay, well then it would be 4 minus 3 equals 1. Well, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1 equals 1. Hooray! We checked it. It worked. Let's do one of these ones down here. Okay, let's try 9. If we plug in 9 for s because I'm told s equals 9. I get 9 plus 8 equals 17. Woohoo! 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yay! It works! You guys are amazing. So, this bottom part here is a little thinking question. 
we have two equal expressions here. x plus 6 plus 2x equals, okay, we know they're balanced, 2x plus 6 plus 4. Just by looking at the equation, what do you think x would equal? Just by looking at it. Turn and tell your neighbor what do you think it is and explain your reasoning. All right, this is where we're going to pause it and then unpause it. All right, well, let's look at each side because the sides have to be balanced, right? All right, somebody, somebody wise riding a bicycle told us they have to be balanced. So this side, they both have 2x. Cool, those can cancel out. They both have 6. Those can cancel out. <gasps> I'm left with x, and I'm left with 4. So, basic reasoning. x is going to equal 4. It's, it's, that's all that's left. That's the only thing that's different on each side. So those things have to be together because we've already realized those cancel out and those cancel out. And we're left with x equals 4. Good job, guys.